try to tell you something you don't know. How God works. Let me try to tell you. Can I tell you how God works? Can I tell you how God works? Uh, God is always ready. But sometimes He keeps you aside for a, for a purpose. He just puts you aside. For what? For a purpose. You cannot say when I'm praying and I'm not getting what I'm praying for. It means it's not there. Don't ever say that it's not there. He sometimes puts you aside because of what? Purpose. Remember God cannot just give you everything. Because you have to reach a level where you must learn to maintain what you have received. If I give you a car that consumes petrol and you don't have money for petrol, what will happen? You will just park the car. There are some things that he gives you first so that when the car comes or what you are crying for comes, you'll be able to maintain. One of our challenges we, we cry for miracles that we will never maintain. And when God is not blessing us with those miracles, we think he is wrong God. God can leave you for a while with a purpose so that you learn. You see, think about if we but have answered you long time. You could not come here. Is it not true? If he might have answered you 10 years back, <coughs> you could not come here. Tell your neighbor, if you go, he might have answered you five years or one year back. You could not come here. Let's talk about your Christian life. Even your Christian life, you know, it won't be like this. Let's take he answered you when you are going to a Sangoma. You will worship that someone. So God, because of love, he will put you aside. Putting you aside of God is to preserve you. Tell your neighbor. Putting you aside because of God is to preserve you. Listen, if God does not preserve you, anything you face, even a miracle, will be danger to you. If now God even when you have it. That's why many people now worship the blessings and leave the blesser. We need to reach a level where we know that God wants us to understand why he's blessing us. It's no issue of just pray, oh, I want this, I want this, now you receive. No. You must understand why God gave you that. If you understand why God, you will, meet, you will be able to maintain. Because you need God more when you have it. I don't, I don't know if you hear me. Tell me, but you need God more when you have a blessing than when you are poor. You know, I can give example uh, that before I have a car, a house, I was living a good life. There was something I could not even think of. You know when you stay in a shack? Can you see when you stay in a shack? You just hear somebody passing here. Another one, you need your shack. You don't mind, you just know they are passing. But the moment you have a house, money, cars there, when you see somebody, you suspect even when the person is just passing, is asking for a job, is passing there, you suspect he's coming to do what? To, to steal from you. You need God more when you are what? When you are blessed than when you are poor. So don't just cry for, for this. Listen, I will tell you something that you don't know. The time when days are dark is when God is forming something in you. 
That's the time that way you can spend time with God, quality time with God because you don't need that time. In future. Do you know why you have to pray because you can't see where you're going? You have to fast because you can't hear anything. But there will be time when this fasting will work for you. Now you see you here. So therefore you will never fast to hear again. So God will put you aside, not because He's not see the need in you. He's putting you aside because He wants you to handle the future. Tell me God is putting you aside. God is putting you aside so that you, you will handle the future. So that you'll be able to handle the future with wisdom. With wisdom. I can give you an example. Now you're a pastor like me. The moment you've got a very big church. If now you don't pass all stages, automatically you will fake some things. You are automatically going to do what? To fake some so things so that people must understand you. The reason why people fake this, fake that, it's fake. It's fake. It's fake. So we need to allow God to put us aside so to train us. us. You must know like before you have abundance. You must understand poor poverty before you become rich. These are very good times I'm telling you. Very, very good times whereby you say thank God. I have time now to pray. I have time now to go to the mountain. Because once you go to the city, for you to go to the mountain will be difficult. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. So the reason why God put you aside is not only to preserve you, but also to train you. To train you. Tell tell neighbor, God wants to train you. God wants to train you. God wants to train you. He did train David. And David in all his battles David he never lose. In all his battles. You know, training is to make you qualify. So that when you are blessed, you become fit even if you are not visibly fit. Because automatically you are not better than other people. And you will never be better than other people by appearance. So, but God has to train you, train your spirit, to control your flesh, so that when blessing comes, they will never control you. God, many times, He loves to put you aside. That's how it works. When days are dark, when you are buried aside, when, when nothing is working, just know that God is not quiet. When people are quiet, ah, forgetting mochi. you, opposed, rejected, people fighting you, trying to stop you, know that God is not quiet. God is teaching you something. When you are sick, in a bad shape, and you are in tough times, or in a, in a sleeping bed, where you are sick, on a sick bed. just know that there is something that God is speaking. If you hold him, you will never die without a testimony. If you hold him, Amen. I say, if you hold it, you will never die without what? Though people are say it's over with you. To God, you will be beginning. Let me prophesy some people. Before I preach here. This year is your year. I say, this year is your year. 